Prasad, you know, I feel like um, your story is so interesting. I could keep going for the next 17 hours, but then uh, we wouldn't allow any time no. for the circle. So I, I want to maybe see if we can fast forward to one last question and, and then offer us all a question for reflection and, and we'll go into the larger circle. So one, one thing I heard in your story was about shifting perspective and the ability to step out of one perspective and into another perspective or have the perspective on one's own perspective. And, uh, you know, in my reading of your book, Smart to Wise, that's one of the two key ideas. The smart means I can be good in, in the blue zone and really focus on operations or I can be good in the red zone and really focus on the enterprise, on the big picture. But wise means I can step out of that and see my own perspective. Right. Um, the second big idea that I got out of your book is that there are some specific competencies of wisdom and that I can do these things and practice these things uh, as guides. Um, so we don't have time to talk about all the ideas in your book, but if there's, if there's a, a thought that you would like to share with us right now to, for something to think about in this circle, um, what, what, what would that be? One thought I would say would be, it is not about being a wise leader, but wiser person. I think somehow being wiser gives us more access and gives us more freedom than being wise. Because somehow wise feels like a noun. Wiser mm. feels like somehow process. That was uh, a big insight for me in the past uh, couple of years after I wrote the book. That is number one. So if I can ask myself, and you, if you ask yourself, you know, what is it that I can do that will make me a wiser person today instead of smarter? <laughs> you know, smarter takes me in a completely different direction. That is about self and what is in it for me, using my intelligence for my own benefit. For me, wiser means doing it for the common good doing it for the larger interest that doesn't necessarily take me away but it is like operating with enlightened self interest so uh, second important quick point is can i start with a lot of enthusiasm and energy but can i make sure when i am in the process of engaging with you with empathy and compassion can I let go of my passion or can I convert my passion into compassion? That means I'm engaged with you, but I'm detached from my emotion. Mm 